I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? When a phantom climbs, it's the ghost of the ladder what serves him. Excuse me? From impulsive desire we're born, but from convention, we die. Are you talking to me? Words are transinduction drugs. We feed on them like addicts to produce dogma and reality. You, sir, are a zombie, a robot. Blindly enamored by your deceit. What you know to be Christianity and democracy is but a tyranny that works fundamentally to own you as property. And so long as you obey their rules and regulations, your status as property won't be invoked. You are a slave, a bacteria for culture. Just what? Think about it. Americans can eat oysters. But they shy away from snails. The French love snails, but they dislike locusts. Zulus munch on locusts, but they won't eat fish. Jews eat fish, but they don't eat pork. Hindus eat pork, but they worship beef. The Russians love beef, but they hate the snakes. The Chinese devour snakes, but they won't eat people. And the Holly of New Guinea think people are delightful yes, to eat. Yes, and vegetarians kill vegetables. But not all pacifists are vegetarians. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that... Each competing horde of geo-slaves thinks that its form of slavery is better. What I'm saying is, each Bible is simply a slave's manual. A how-to book. Now, you see, the purpose of chaos, paradox, nonsense, is to set itself against the linear world, to prevent monotheism from controlling the anxieties created by the unknown. Instead, you must jump into the unknown. Head first. You're crazy. What? Were you trying to say that all ideologies and theologies are dangerous? What does that mean? Meaning is only found after you destroy the search for it. Think about it. What does dogma spell backwards? A-M-G-O. You see, you must transcend beyond your traditions. Ask yourself, are you a free man or the property of some god? Now, Christianity claims to be the great lever in civilization, yet Christ never spoke of quantum physics. Or even that the purpose of life is self-development. His rebuking of a fever disclosed a lack of scientific knowledge. In fact, in Luke 20, 34, he stated that those who marry aren't worthy of being saved. He cursed the fig tree for not bearing fruit in the winter. And if you've ever wondered why women are so long oppressed, you need only to read 1 Corinthians 7, 4, which states that the woman has no rights over her own body, the man has them! So you see, belief has created more problems than anything. Believe in nothing. Become who you are. Michael. How do you know my name? Uh, Michael. There are millions of solar systems throughout the galaxy upon which life breeds and evolves. There are more advanced cultures numbering in the millions on other planets, but right now, they exist ahead of us in genetic time. Now, the neurogenetic plan, sense life, seeded by amino acid templates, is to decode the DNA and CNS messages. Now, after this is done, and only after, can we extend life. Increase intelligence and migrate throughout the galaxy. Believe in nothing, Michael. Become who you are. Who are you? I am that I am. <laughs> <laughs>
get that? I am that I am. That I am. <laughs> <laughs> 